Welcome to Heaven Awaits. My name is Lee, and I narrate the near-death experiences of those who have died and have seen the other side. If you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of new content. Doing so is free, and it does help the channel grow. Get comfortable, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let's dive into today's experience. It was April 1989, and I was nine years old. I was riding my bicycle in Texas and in my grandparents' neighborhood. I and a neighborhood child, who was one year older than me, built a ramp to jump our bikes toward the direction of the street. As I was coming down the sidewalk to jump the ramp, the neighborhood child was waving his arms frantically in the air. I could not hear him due to the wind and speed of the bicycle, so I assumed the two by fours holding the ramp up had fallen again. Unfortunately, I assumed wrong. He was warning me of a car coming quickly down the road. I couldn't see the other parked cars lining the road. I had built up a lot of speed and whipped out into the road. I was hit by a large 1980s sedan. I blacked out for a while, but was told that I was thrown approximately 10 yards and landed against another parked vehicle in a driveway across the street. When I came to my senses, I was floating approximately 30 feet above my body looking down. I could see the ambulance had arrived and I could see an EMT performing CPR on me. I saw my frantic mother and some others gathered around and watching nearby in my grandparents' yard. I felt no emotions and was very calm observing the scene below me. I felt raindrops begin to fall on my face, but I was watching myself at the same time from the air. This is hard to explain. Slowly, I began to spin in the air in a counterclockwise manner as I floated upward. I could see the top of the neighbor's magnolia tree that was in bloom and the tops of the other old live oaks in the area. Then, in a flash, I was somewhere else. In this new place, I was watching myself again in what can best be described as a 3D movie of my short nine-year-old life. I saw mostly the highlights. Sometimes I was me, sometimes I was watching from above, and sometimes I was observing from the perspective of other people involved. In the end, there was an event where I did something bad out of anger. In this instance, I was inside my body, and I rejected the behavior and resisted doing it. In my mind, I yelled, NO! At this time, a yellowish light shot out of my chest. Many things happened all at once. The best way I can describe what happened next is that it was like I ripped apart the 3D movie of my life. I realized that the yellow light coming out of my chest hit this being made of light and color. It threw the being through space and into the air. Then the being went through a crowd of other beings that were watching or participating in my life review. I then realized I was somewhere else and surrounded by these beings of light. We were in a very bright place, but the light did not hurt my eyes. They were beautiful, had many colors swirling in their core cavity area and a bluish light in their head area. They were partially see-through, like plasma. I was surrounded by hundreds of them. In unison, they all spoke to me repeatedly saying the same thing. You are loved, you are welcome here. They spoke not with words, but with thought and emotion. It was immediate understanding with knowledge when they communicated. I was partially held in place but could move my eyes and look down. When I did, I realized I had the colors in the core area of my body just like they did. I became scared because I could not see my legs and was confused. They said in unison again multiple times, you are loved, you are welcome here, until I calmed down. Additionally, when they communicated with me, their lights would connect with me and mine would connect with theirs when I thought something. Two of the beings stepped out in front of the others saying again, you are loved, you are welcome here. Then one of the two said, welcome back. And then the other being shushed, the one that said, welcome back. This was confusing and is still confusing to this day. I realized while observing their interaction that I felt like I knew them all, but I could not figure out how. When I turned my head toward the source of the excitement, I saw a great being at least twice the size of the others. This being was best described as a great white flame with a face and what appeared to be a human-like body of flame. This next part is hard to describe. I was looking at the being far away and approaching. Briefly, I was face to face with this being, then back in the place I was held. Then I felt and heard a great voice inside me say, Come. I was shot through the veil I was being held in and into the place with the others. 
I shot through space and landed at the great being's feet. This larger and much more powerful being said to me one time, you are loved, you are accepted. I was so amazed and distracted by this that I forgot what was going on and just observed the flame for a while. It moved slowly like a flame made of water and had shimmers of all colors across the flame. When I tried to see through the flame to the greater being inside, I could not. I was blocked at this time, but I knew the being was communicating with someone or something else. Then, he stepped out of the flame and simply said, I am sorry, you must go back now. Suddenly I was floating backward. Once I crossed the boundary, I realized I was coming back to my body. For some reason, I did not want to, and I yelled, No, wait, who are you? In an instant, I was pulled back to him. He then stepped out of the flame and said with a great rumble like a thousand foghorns at once, This is how you see me. The rumbling became great, and he appeared as an old man with white hair and a beard, but with baby-like skin. I became distracted by his beard because it seemed like every single hair was full of life and, again, had the rainbow-colored shimmering across it. I was dumbfounded and just thought, whoa, like the Ninja Turtles I was really into at this time. I then thought, beautiful grandpa. He could hear all my thoughts. He responded with a brief feeling of disappointment and then said, you must go back now, you are not finished. I still have no idea what I am supposed to finish. I then yelled, no, wait, no. I was pushed quickly backward through the boundary. Suddenly, I was held in a dark space where I could see the other place. The great being leaned over the edge and into the dark place I was in. He said, I am so sorry. You must go back. I love you. I have never felt so much sorrow or so much love in my life compared to that moment. There is nothing on earth that could ever compare to that love or that sorrow. Immediately, I was back in my body and it was as if barely any time had passed. I had a tube down my throat and I heard the EMT standing above me say, I got him. He is breathing. He then said to me, it's okay, you are going to be okay. I was crying and trying to move, but I couldn't because they had me strapped to an orange and red emergency board being loaded into the ambulance. My mother was close as she got in the ambulance too. I was trying to say, no, you don't understand. I don't want to be here, but I couldn't get the words out because the tube was still in my throat and my mouth was covered. After the surgery on my skull, which had fractured and I woke in recovery, I tried to tell my mother and the attending physician what happened. The doctor looked at my mom with a strange look and said, let's step outside for a bit. They were still in the room where I could hear them. He said to her that when people have bad head injuries, they can imagine things. He talked like I was crazy. I knew then that people would think I was crazy if I told them what happened. So. I spent the next 25 years researching religions and death until I found proof enough to confirm what happened to me. It is still my most vivid memory. That does it for today's experience. Let me know what everyone thinks in the comment section below. If you would like to read this experience, it can be found on the Indurf website. Until next time, stay safe and continue to be blessed.